What's going on YouTube? Today I have a LG K20 Plus on Metro. Um, as you can see, it's currently Google account locked. Um, now I know if you're watching this video, you're probably facing the same same uh, problem or issue. Um, without the email and password, you're locked out and you can't really do anything else besides that. But um, easier with, uh, what, what, not easier, but with with the uh, previous models, it was a lot easier to bypass this Google account. But now, with um, up, you know, like uh, updates and security patches and whatnot, uh, they made it a little more uh, harder or tougher to uh, to um, bypass. Now, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to get to Google and make some use out of it. Um, as you can see, it was Google account locked. What you got to do first is uh, connect to Wi-Fi, which I already have done. Um, from here, you would have to uh, activate TalkBack. Um, sometimes, uh, depending on what LG model you have, there there should be an an option already enabled, uh, which lets you just hold volume up and down at the same time for TalkBack to to come on. But if it doesn't come on, in my case, then you would have to do it uh, the other way, is by putting uh, two fingers on the screen. Touch and hold until you hear a beep to turn on TalkBack. To turn talk back off, press and hold the power key until the phone vibrates. Then, touch and hold with two fingers until you hear a beep. Talk back on. Talk back tutorial. Showing items 1 to 2 of 5. Back button. Once it's enabled, this comes up. Set up wizard. And what you're going to do now is go to accessibility. Accessi accessibility. Go to uh, motor and cognition. Motor and cognition. In Physical keyboard to use. Turn off talk back disabled. In then the enable touch, assist uh, touch assistant. Touch assistant. Off switch. Touch assistant. There on. Now what's in what's it's in enable? Make an L on the screen. Global context menu. This, talk back. This setting Showing should come up. One to nine of nine. And uh, what you're gonna do is uh, look for talk back settings. Talk back set. Talk back settings. Shake to start continuous reading. And, disabled in list and once, 30 items. Once we're here talk at this back uh, talk back settings, by sound feedback uh, on, switch. navigate the screen by using two fingers on the, on the screen volume. to scroll Show down easier. Context menu is list with custom labels. And uh, how I miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. How I uh, mentioned to you earlier Showing that there should be an option. 20 to 27 of 30. Talk back suspended and by enabling this, you, you would then uh, Dim screen when talk back be able to uh, switch. Uh, activate or Double deactivate uh, TalkBack using volume up and down at the same time. Uh, and just hold it down for 2-3 seconds and option should come up to uh, press OK. Um, in my case, the volume doesn't work, so with motoring and cognition, I'm just going to go to accessibility by going to next. You can go, you can go back to... You can go accessibility. accessibility. Just two Touch random assistant. two fingers on the, on the screen anywhere, and uh, go to vision. 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 And where he says talk, talk back, back we're gonna deactivate. Talk back. Reads and again, on turn off. Turn off talk back. Okay. Or turn, turn off. off. Button. There we go. Now, once talk back is off, what you're gonna do is go uh, go back to where it was uh, um, talk back, and just keep going one by one. You don't wanna go too fast. If not, you're gonna uh, restart back over. Um, one more time. It should say talkback settings at the time, just like right here. Now, once talkback is deactivated, it, it's a lot easier to um, to uh, navigate the screen. Like I said, uh, once you have this enabled, you just press up and down at the same time, and just boom, like that, you should be able to turn off talkback. But in my case, like I said, volume doesn't work. Volume up doesn't work, so I had to just go to motor and cognition and enable touch assistant. Uh, anywho, now. Once we're here at Talkback Centers, you've got to scroll all the way down to the bottom and look for help and feedback. And uh, out of these options, I would choose the first one about switch access for Android. Um, once you're here, uh, let me just move touch assistant a little higher or out of the way. Uh, once you're here, there should be a YouTube video. Uh, play it and uh, look for this arrow for the share. The arrow would be the share option. T touch the share, and it should come up with this link. Once this link shows up, there you go. You should come up, uh, come to uh, YouTube. 
Uh, if you're just looking to use YouTube, then you're, you're good to go. You don't need to go any further. Um, but if you want to go to Google, go to uh, the account and go to where it says Terms and Privacy Policy. And once you tap that option, you should then be able to uh, see a browser. Uh, shoot. Move this out of the way. Browser. And now you can type Google. And here we go. You can look for anything. You can go to Facebook if you want. Um, this is this as far as I can get you. Um, right now, I'm still working on a process to actually bypass the Google account without having to uh, download any softwares. Uh, if I have any luck, I would be uh, I would post a video soon. But um, yeah, this is this is as far as you can get. Uh, you can't get to the menu screen or anything for the time being. But if you do figure it out figure it out a way, don't be sure to leave it in the comment section. Um, but at the, like I said, I'm working on a way to actually fully bypass this without actually having to download any softwares or or actually having to use a PC. Um, if you have to download the, any software with the phone, it's a lot easier than having to connect uh, to a PC and use any softwares from there. But uh, if you have found, found this video helpful, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to help build my base. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.